Welcome back to another Senior CrossFit video. My name is Chandler, this is Kira. Um, we're gonna be doing the workout for you today. So we're gonna start with our warm up. It's gonna be three rounds and we're gonna be doing 10 prone shoulder taps, 10 jumping jacks, and then 10 marching arm swings. So we are gonna go over those movements. We haven't done all of them before. So Kira's gonna demonstrate our prone shoulder taps for us. She's gonna get in a angled push up position and she's going to individually tap each shoulder. You can do this on the edge of a chair. If that's too low or you feel uncomfortable, do it on the edge of a countertop or the back of a couch or something that's more angled or even a wall, um, something that you feel a little bit more sturdy doing it on. And then we're gonna move on to 10 jumping jacks. So this is our RX jumping jack. If you've been doing this step out, we would love for you to try it and see how you're feeling, but this is a modification that you can do the step out and the step in. So 10 of those as well. And the last movement that we're gonna do is 10 marching arm swings. So I'm gonna have Kira demonstrate for us. This is what the full movement looks like. We're gonna never start from the beginning because it is a little bit difficult on coordination, but that's why I like it. So start with swinging your arms back and forth, cross your chest, and then incorporate the legs when you feel comfortable. And then if you can, if you speed up the legs, the harder the movement is gonna be. We do want you to get your heart rate up because this is a warm up, but it's really great for coordination and a stretch for up top. So again, we're gonna be doing three rounds, 10 prone shoulder taps, 10 jumping jacks, and then 10 marching arm swings. Feel free to pause the video, do that warm up, come back to us and we'll move on to the stretching portion of the video. All right, we're gonna move on to the stretching portion after that warm up. I'm gonna have Kira demonstrate for us. We're gonna start by doing a bobblehead stretch. So she's going to be shifting her neck side to side, doing that five to 10 times, however much you feel like you need. And then we're gonna go forward and back as well. Get that full range of motion. And we're gonna do this five to 10 times. Once we're done with that, we're gonna do the steeple stretch. So what that is, is you're gonna put one hand out in front, cross the other arm over the top, and then pull the arms above your head, stretching as far back as you can, really stretching out those shoulders and those lats right here. And if you tighten it up top, you'll feel more of a stretch. Then the last one that we're gonna do is the warrior one stretch. This is a yoga pose. It is similar to other stretches that we've done before. She's gonna spread her legs out into a lunge position. If you need to have a chair close by for balance and we're gonna bring our arms overhead. So you should really feel this in your hip flexor and all the way down into your calf. The goal is to keep your back foot on the floor. Um, we're gonna hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then you stand up and then we'll switch legs the higher your lunge is, the easier this will be. If you want a deeper stretch, you can always drop down into a deeper lunge. Again, please have a chair or a table or a countertop or a couch, something nearby if you need to grab on for balance. So feel free to go back, go through those movements again uh, with the 10 to 15 seconds and the rep that we gave you. Come back and we'll go over the workout of the day. After you finish up those stretches, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our workout of the day or our wad. So we are gonna be doing a 12 minute AMRAP today. And an AMRAP is as many rounds as or as many reps as possible. So the first movement we're gonna be doing is lunges. We're gonna be doing 10 of these. So we should be familiar with them by now. She's gonna show us an RX version of one, which is going all the way down, touching that knee to the floor, making sure that that knee is not tracking over the ankle we wanna make sure it's not going forward. We wanna show us a bad lunge. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't wanna cause injury. This is not what we want it to look like. Make sure that chest is staying up. If you need to, please have something for balance, whether that's a chair or couch. If you want, you can go halfway. If going all the way down to the ground either causes you pain or is just too hard for you to get out of right now, whatever modification works for you. The next move we're gonna be doing is a strict press. We do have a full video on this back in our um, introductory section. So remember, there's no legs in this movement, it's all arms. Her hands are on the outside of her shoulder. Her elbows are slightly in front of the bar. 
She's moving her chin out of the way and then pushing that bar straight up and then bringing her head back through. Her abs and her booty are staying tight the whole time. We really want a tight core and a tight lower body in this movement. So remember, seven of those. And then we're going to move on to five dips. Just to demonstrate for us. See, she's dropping down so that her arms are making a 90 degree angle. If you can't go down that far or it feels dangerous for you, you can go halfway and then come back up. You can do this on the edge of a couch, the edge of a chair or a table, wherever you feel comfortable. So again, we're doing a 12 minute AMRAP, 10 lunges, seven strict press, five dips. When you're done with that workout, feel free to come back to the video and we'll move on to our cool down movements and our accessory work for the day. After you finish up that workout, take some deep breaths, grab some water, and we're going to move on to our cool down movements before we get into our accessory work. So Kira's going to demonstrate for us. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath in, arms overhead, and we're going to roll our body down as far as it'll allow you to go. Hold for a few seconds and then roll back up, bring it back to the top and then release that breath on the way down, allowing ourselves to go down as far as we can. Do this about five times. If you wanna do a little more, you can. It does feel really nice. And then we're gonna move on to some shoulder rolls. So we're gonna do 10 backwards and 10 forward. After you've gone through that movement, and we're gonna move on to what's called a prayer stretch. So please find a carpet or something soft on the floor, a pillow. Go to the edge of a couch if you can. We are gonna stay on the floor for the rest of the video. We're gonna put our elbows on the edge of the couch or table or whatever you are on. Put our hands into that prayer position. And then we're gonna drop our head through as far as we can. You should really be feeling it through here and even all the way down into your mid back. It really gets that whole upper to mid body portion a stretch. Hold this for 10 to 15 seconds. Oh, and then we're actually going to stay, oh, she's going to move forward, but you can stay on the ground if you'd like, no need to get up. The accessory work we're going to be doing today is the opposite arm, opposite leg balance. So we're going to bring one arm up and the opposite leg up at the same time, and then back down. The goal is to do three sets of eight total, so four each side. If you want to make this a little bit more difficult, you can hold at the top for one to two seconds or one to three seconds and then bring it back down. Really make sure that you're squeezing that core tight, that you're keeping everything in line. This is really focusing on your balance down there and it is also ab work as well. Um, once you're done with that, feel free to check out our next video for next week's workout.